we've got a, a former police officer who's called in. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, good morning. I mean, Dr Ashley Frawley there, uh, giving her concerns about this becoming a matter for the, the law. What do you think? I, I share her concerns. I mean, to start with, I, I don't think any reasonable person uh, is or should be defending the, the smacking of children regarding the severity of it. But my concerns are, are the consequences, as she touched on. It's a, You're in a position whereby this legal entity, which, to be fair, Kay, didn't require to be brought in. We had existing legislation, and as you've referred to, this was always a defence, a defence that it be a reasonable chastisement. But by very nature of this being a defence, it would imply that there had to be prosecution in the first place. Uh, and then there would have been the opportunity for additional reports from social work, things like that. But this new legislation, my concern is my, my partner is still a current serving police officer, and the training that's being given, uh, there is no, there is to be no discretion in this. So examples being used would be, imagine a professional person uh, in a supermarket shopping with their children, they're misbehaving. Uh, eventually, a, a tap on the hand is, is given. Uh, this is reported by a well-meaning member of the public or indeed security staff, something like this. And this could well result in a prosecution. Now, the consequences come in whereby if this professional person is prosecuted, how does that affect their future employment? Imagine a doctor, a police officer even. Uh, how does that affect the children longer term? So, so are you saying that this is part of current training that is being given in response to this new legislation? I, I, I do believe that to be the case, and I would imagine it'll be the case. And going forward, if there are reports of this, I don't believe the system could cope with the reports of it. But the legislation was already there, it just wasn't used properly. And this new legislation takes no bearing on the consequences on that family unit which is always my concern when it comes to children. Well, I mean, I guess what you would hope, wouldn't you, that the new legislation would mean that in that situation, I mean, whether you're a doctor, a police officer, or whatever you work, whatever you do, you just wouldn't do it? Well, yes, and I accept that. And it's never been something uh, I've had to resort to, but in the past, I've, I've physically had to restrain violent children uh, who were attacking maybe parents or medical staff, something like that. Uh, so it's not always how you see it. And there should be a process in place to examine that further. And there was, but now there isn't. Hmm. Uh, listen, thank you very much. I know you're not desperate to give you your real name, but thanks very much. I really appreciate your contribution.